The Anatomy of the Aorta The aorta emerges from the left ventricle at the lower border of the third costal cartilage behind the sternum, slightly to the left. In the superior mediastinum it curves upwards, forming the ascending thoracic aorta. It then turns left and backward forming the aortic arch. It then turns downward forming the descending thoracic aorta. The descending thoracic aorta passes through the thorax on the vertebral column, giving various branches in the mediastinum. It passes through the aortic hiatus in the diaphragm at T12 to become the abdominal aorta. The ascending aorta gives branches to the heart, the right and left coronary arteries. The outer convexity of the aortic arch gives three branches, brachiocephalic, which is short and quickly divides into the right common carotid and right subclavian. Left common carotid and the left subclavian. On each side then, the common carotid artery ascends in the neck almost and identically passing behind, although very deeply, the sternoclavicular joint to the upper border of the thyroid where it divides into the external carotid and internal carotid. The internal carotid has no branches and ascends into the skull via the carotid canal. The external carotid has several branches supplying the face and neck. The abdominal aorta continues the journey on the vertebral column, slightly to the left, giving some pairs of small posterior lumbar arteries, and then bifurcates into the right and left common iliac arteries, and a small median sacral artery at L4, approximately the level of the umbilicus. From its anterior surface it bears three visceral arteries, the celiac trunk. The superior mesenteric artery and the inferior mesenteric artery. Laterally, it gives off three paired arteries the adrenal, the renal, and the gonadal arteries.